In this video, we will look into how MVVM work with Swift UI 6. With iOS 17, Apple introduced the at the rate observable macro, which is a game changer. This new feature simplifies the state management and boosts performance for our iOS application. So how does at the rate observable macro works? Let's break it down. In the past, to make our view model reactive, we had to make our view model conform to observable object and wrap each property with at the rate published property wrapper. But now all we need to do is annotate our class with this at the rate observable macro and all the properties of this class will become reactive. And the view which is observing to this model will be refreshed anytime the properties of this view model are updated. Let's take a simple counter app example to understand this. So first we have model, which is a simple struct that holds our counter value. This keeps the data separated from our logic and UI following the MVVM pattern. We can make this model reactive as well by using at the rate observable macro. And then we have view model. This is where we will have all the business logic of our application. In our view model, we have a property of our model counter and we have an increment method to update the counter's value. We can just annotate our view model with at the rate observable macro and all its property will become reactive. So every time counter value is updated, in this method, any view which is observing this view model will get updated. And then we have view which uses at the rate state to create an instance of our view model. It displays the current count and includes a button to increment the count. The button's action calls the increment method on the view model and our text gets updated as soon as the counter value is being changed. And then lastly, let's say you want to create a child view from your content view and pass your view model as well. In that case, we can use at the rate binding. Like in this example, if we want to keep our main content view neat and clean and readable, we can keep our button and text in a child view named counter view. We can move our button and text in the child view. And then in the counter view, we can use at the rate binding to bind the view model from parent view, which is our content view, to child view, which is our counter view. And then as we were doing before, we can use our view model to increment our count and then our text will get updated every time the count value is changed in the increment method. And this is how simple it is to use at the rate observable macro to manage MVVM design pattern for our SwiftUI project. Let's look into a very simple example to understand how MVVM works with SwiftUI. So we'll take the same counter example and I promise you we'll be going deeper and more complex examples of how MVVM works with SwiftUI. But at this stage, let's look into a very simple example and let's learn the basics of how MVVM works with SwiftUI. So let's first create our model. So let's go to File, New, file from template we'll create a swift file click on next and we'll we'll call it counter model and let's create and this would be a very simple class with we'll call it counter model and there won't be any super class for it and we will make this class reactive as well because we will be observing to this count value in our view so let's first correct it to count and then use at the rate observable macro, not observable object, just observable. And we don't need foundation over here. We just need Swift UI. So let's import that. And now let's create our view model. So right click over here, new file from template. We'll create a Swift file itself for our view model. Click on next and we'll call it counter view model let's move it in the correct folder and then over here again i need to import swift ui first and then i can create a class and then as you can see xcode 16 is giving us some option and this was our old way of observing our class using observable object but no no we don't want this uh, and then you can see we have xcode 16 is giving us option for published and increment and everything we don't want that so let's just remove this first and instead of confirming to observable object we want to call our macro observable and this is it 
Now, whatever properties I'll create in this counter view model will become reactive. I'll create var model and I'll create init over here and Xcode 16 gave us pretty good init over here. I don't have to even type it. That's pretty cool. And then I can create our increment function and Xcode 16 is doing a pretty good job. So let's see. So we have our increment function and we have model dot, dot count, which is incrementing by one, which is what we want. So great job Xcode 16. So now we have our model, we have our view model and both of these are observable means if I create a view now, I should be able to observe this view model and the counter model as well. So let's go to our content view and we don't want this image and text. What we want is, yeah, test, but not saying hello world, we will be showing our counter. And then Xcode 16 is giving us option to interpolate this counter value. Even though we did not create any counter variable over here, still it's doing like this. So let's just take it. And then Xcode will also yell at us that we don't have any counter in the scope. So let's create a, let's create our view model. So to listen to our view model, we need to create state. And instead of where counter, we will be listening to our view model. So I'll call it counter view model. And then again, Xcode 16 is giving us some option. We can take it. So let's take it by clicking on the tab. And then we have our counter view model ready. Now, instead of calling counter directly, I can call counter view model dot model dot count. And our counter view model initializer want us to initialize it with the model. So instead of initializing it in the view, I can just initialize it in my view model itself. So over here, I can say counter model and then initialize it in this init function. Now that it is initialized in init function itself, it won't give us this error. So that error is gone and now I can use it like this. But to actually increment our count, we need to call this increment method. How do we do that? So let's create a button to call our increment method. The button and again Xcode 16 is giving us some code option. I can select it by clicking on tab and then it is completing my task itself. So counter view model dot increment. This is what we want. And now if I click on this increment button, counter value is being updated as you can see. So it is working. So let's look into binding as well and how binding works in this example. So let's say we don't want this text and button in the same view. I want this button in a different view so that my code looks much cleaner. So I can select this, right click, and we have this extract subview option. I can click on it and Xcode will create a new view for this button. Instead of calling extracted view, I will call it increment button view and I can use this increment button view over here. And now it's giving us error because we don't have counter view model in this new view. So how do we pass counter view model from our parent view to our child view? To do so, I can create binding. So let's do binding. And yeah, where counter view model, counter view model, this is what we want. So let's tab and select that. And now for increment button view, it says missing an argument. We will let Xcode fix it. And for our binding, we need to give this counter view model state. And how do we do that? We do it using dollar sign and then our counter view model. And this is it. Now with this binding also, it should work. So let's click on this increment and it works like a charm. So this is it. This is how simple it is to implement MVVM with the new observable macro. In our next videos, we'll be creating some real world application and dig more deeper into MVVM design pattern and how at the rate observable macro makes it much easier to design our SwiftUI projects with MVVM.